Hey there YouTube, it's Math Buller. Welcome to this private autograph signings recap video. I have three baseball items and two football items from four private signings. Unfortunately, the two football items are going to be shipped back. Um, it's disappointing, but, you know, they're, I'm starting to dislike private signings a little bit. However, they can be great as well, and you're going to see some good ones. <laughs> In fact, you could even argue great for one of them. So I'm going to go and show you the three baseball ones first. And the first one we'll start off with is a Sports Illustrated magazine signed by Doug DeCincess. Well, I mean, that's cool and all. The company, uh, the contact was Dennis McElhaney, um, but they gave me a little, you know, a no sticker or anything on the item, but very nice handwriting. The thing that was cool about this, Sports Illustrated, is that also I got signed by Phil Gardner, TTM, a little while ago with the 79 World Series Champ inscription. So, yes, this was during the 1979 World Series, and yeah, Doug DeCincess definitely got the best of Phil Gardner in that moment, but the Pirates did win the World Series, so it all worked out in the end. But that's a cool shot. And now I got the autograph to complete that magazine. So pretty cool stuff right there. So thank you, Dennis McElhaney and IPA. A little shout out for you. I can't really read what IPA stands for. I don't think it says on there. But anyway, good start. Now this next one, I just couldn't pass it up for the price. So a little shout out to Nick Martini who put this on, of Martini Memorabilia. Uh, these autograph signings I learned through a Facebook group called Baseball Private Signings, all three of these. And, well, let me just try to show you the autographer here, Tommy Green, who has a nice big autograph. But what made this really cool is it's a box score ball. Yeah, he had a no-hitter back on May 23rd, 1991. And if you have never seen a box score baseball before, I've never gotten one before. I've seen other people do it. And, you know, for the price, I'm like, I might as well try it out and see what I think of it. And, yeah, I really like it. <laughs> so, I don't know how many more I'll ever get the you know a lot of people I can imagine they would not like doing this as it would take time but it looks so stinking nice so thank you Nick Martini for that really nice Tommy Green box score baseball so you got the box score no hitter with the date on it and his autograph above it good stuff all right this is great this is great and it totally is going to cancel out the unfortunate autograph footballs items that I got. This one I had already purchased. And then, in fact, I had purchased it for such a small amount of time before saying away that it never made it to a video. I have a Tito Francona who grew up as a local person. I mean, this ball's not perfect. You can see some spotting there and whatnot. It's Beckett authenticated, which is great. But yeah, Tito Fran Francona grew up not too far from me um, in New Brighton, Pennsylvania. And before this baseball even made it to a, a purchase video, his son Terry Francona had an autograph signing. So thank you, Louis Ragone of Signatures for You for having the Terry Francona signing and the inscription New Brighton Proud was added. So talk about a really cool local item from my collection. You got the father-son tandem from New Brighton with the New Brighton Proud inscription. So dang, that's cool. I mean, I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. And... Yeah, the timing just kind of worked out really well that I bought the Tito Francona and, you know, less than, well, less than a month later, I, there's a Terry Francona signing. Done. So, yeah, there's three 
autographed baseball items for my collection. And then I have two more from a private signing at Total Sports Enterprises. And, you know, you would think that this isn't bad. They got the little stickers there, the decals with the jersey number. It is Beckett Witness Authenticated. But it's signed in white paint pen. It was not advertised as white paint pen. They've never done white paint pen. I don't know why. They started doing that. We have Max Starks. Starting offensive lineman. I believe he was a left tackle most or all of that time. He was on the Super Bowl 40 and Super Bowl 43 team. I have nothing autographed by him. I've never met the guy. Really tall guy. Really seems like a nice guy. And the price was reasonable and dag nabbit. This, I didn't I didn't send this item in. It was purchased from their list. And, you know, you've, I've gone to TSE for years. And all their black mini helmets are signed in gold. This isn't. It's signed in white. If it was silver, I could have lived with it. Because out of, like, my 40, heck, it might be 50, signed Steeler mini helmets, they're all signed in gold with the exception of the Dan Rooney, which is in silver. So then we have another one, which this sucks, by the way. I would have returned this anyway. The Beckett hologram has been tampered with. Yeah. But Alan Fanica, new Hall of Famer guard from the Pittsburgh Steelers, Super Bowl 40 champs, and before that, many, many Pro Bowls, all pros. They put the nice little decals on, a little go extra mile, but... Sign in white paint pen. Dag nabbit. So I was going to wait a while to show this video, but these are getting returned. They just yesterday sent me a UPS ground return label, which I'm going to put back on the box and ship them back. They do not have a replacement for them because they got them all signed in a white paint pen. I... I waited over two months, the second they announced the sign, to we were receiving this, and for some reason they signed them in white paint pen. All of them in white paint pen now, instead of gold. I, I don't understand that, and I want my collection to be matched. And if I'm not happy with the item, I'm shipping it back. So, uh, to their credit, at least when I emailed them the concern, that's the way they wanted to do it through their support email system, their customer support email. Next day they emailed me and. Well, now the only this annoying thing is I have to take it to a UPS drop-off location, so I'll just schedule it online or something. But yeah, let's go end this on a good note. This is amazing for my collection. The Tito Francona and the Terry Francona. Father-son, dual sign baseball with the new Brighton Proud inscription. That's great. So, um... Yeah, then we have the box score ball. We got the dual sign, Doug DeSinces, Phil Gardner, Sports Illustrated. So, very good, everybody. Hey, I hope you like this video. Feel free to let me know what you think. Even if it's, uh, hopefully people can understand my, those of you with the big collection probably can understand my disappointment with the Steeler Mini Helmets. But, um, yeah, I upload an a TTM video every Monday and I upload an autograph or trading card video such as this one on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I would appreciate if you would like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.